I'm frying up an egg in coconut oil. Ow, that popped on me. Um, avocado and tomatoes on the side. I definitely take inspiration from Benji and Judy a lot. Just a little while ago, I ate all of these pistachios. I think it was like a fourth of a cup or something like that. And what else do I have? Glass of water, of course. Gotta start your day off with water. I like to like break my yolk and mix it in with my um, avocado. It's so good that way. Mm -mm -mm. I just got this package in the mail and um, they're my frames, my glasses frames that I that I got sent. Oh my God, I'm so excited right now. So these are the glasses that I, or the frames that I picked out. Um, these are the biggest ones. I haven't tried them on yet. And then I have another black and then I got one in brown. These are my glasses that I'm currently using. <laughs> Okay, super ghetto. My dogs chewed them up like a couple years ago and I have never gotten new ones just because I just saw all oh, these works or whatever. But just recently I sat on them and this thing totally broke off and I had to put tape on there and I'm like, well, these are no longer usable and they were no longer usable the first time they got chewed up. But, you know, sometimes you just make do with what you have and, um, I was just like, oh, I really need glasses so bad. And then a company, um, I think it's called glassesshop.com, contacted me and asked me if I wanted to try out some of their frames. And honestly, it was I feel like it was a godsend. Like, God sent me that these frames. Like, <laughs> isn't that such a blessing? Like, I'm so happy and, like, grateful. I just have to get my prescription put in. Um, but... Yeah, oh my gosh, I'm like so excited. Bye-bye, old glasses. <laughs> Here, I just found this. They stuck it in my package. <laughs> that sounded so funny. Okay, glassesshop.com, and you can get prescription. This is gonna be my new favorite site. Oh, they have a Facebook and a Twitter. Cool. I burnt my toast a little bit. I toast my bread and then I um, put peanut butter and then bananas. Oh, I love this. This is my favorite snack. No me gusta chunky. No. It's the only one we have and it's huge. The kind of bread that I used was 12 grains. I don't know. There's one from, I think, I don't know if this is the one that Costco carries, but we got this from Mariano's. Um, I'm not sure, but, I'm sh but I heard there's a better one at Trader Joe's, which I haven't checked out yet. I'm supposed to be getting ready right now to go out to eat for my mom's birthday. And I'm not ready. I guess I should just go like this. Um, my sister's coming. She's gonna see me that I'm not ready. I gotta run downstairs. Today we're eating some broccoli, um, tofu, lentils, and then brown rice. And I mixed a little bit of um, quinoa. This is old brown rice and quinoa that I just mixed up and I'm reheating it. The lentils aren't ready yet, so I'm going to put a little bit of this roll-on hot chili oil. Just a little bit, not even that much because I don't like spicy food. But um, I'm in the mood today, so I'm just going to put... Mmm, yummy. I'm gonna give myself a protein shake, so I have some yeah, rice like milk, ready, um, chocolate protein powder, um, some Greek yogurt, wow. and a spoonful of peanut butter. And I think that's it. Oh, and I'm gonna throw in some chia seeds. This tastes like a peanut butter cup. A Reese's peanut butter cup. So, my sister and I just came back from Costco. We got a couple of things, like... Um, red seedless grapes. We got some gala apples. Um, these are great for juicing. I love them. Um, we also got some of these bark thins. Oh my goodness, guys. If you go, you gotta try these. These are so delicious. It's dark chocolate and almond sea salt. 
and um, they're a great little snack. We also went grocery shopping yesterday. Mariana's got some grapefruit, more grapefruit, which was really good for weight loss. And then we just got a bunch of vegetables like celery, tomatoes. We have egg whites here, um, more Greek yogurt, vanilla. We love the vanilla kind. It's so yummy. This is a spinach from Costco. Strawberries from Costco are delicious. The eggs that we use are organic eggs. They're cage-free. Those are the best eggs ever. Um, and then we just have some tofu and stuff. And then carrots, green beans, Brussels sprouts. Um, red cabbage, lime, cilantro. Um, broccoli, tomatoes. What else do we have? Oh, yummy um, mushrooms. I love mushrooms. They're like my favorite vegetable. Some turkey in there. Um, goat cheese. I just made myself a little snack for before the gym. It's sliced up banana and I have some peanut butter in the middle of them just a cute little snack that we saw on instagram and i wanted to try it out the only difference with mine and the one on instagram is that this doesn't have little dark chocolate chips in it um i don't have any but that's okay i'm gonna have some greek vanilla yogurt and i washed some raspberries i'm gonna add a little bit of this honey this is from costco of course because it's kirkland and put this in there where should I buy your clothes? Yeah. I don't I'm making a garbanzo bean salad. So I have, of course, most importantly, garbanzos. Um, I cook these overnight, or not overnight, but like I cook them at night and um, just kind of let them chill in the fridge. I'm going to add some diced tomatoes, um, red onion. This is optional, but I would recommend it. And most importantly, it's um, kale. And I just grabbed it with my hand. Um, but yeah, it's just chopped up over here. I'm putting a lot in because kale is so, so good for you. Well, I'm going to put it in two limes. And I, the reason I don't talk about measurements is because I really don't measure anything when I'm cooking stuff. Only when I'm baking usually. And I'm going to season it with some kosher salt. Just a little bit. Some ground black pepper. And then I like to put in comino. Or cumin, cumin, whatever you want to say. Just take a big spoon and stir this up. Now a lot of the salads that I make are very, very light. And so... They're considered more kind of summer salads, but girl, I'm gonna be light all year round, not just during the summer. I'm just gonna have some water and listen to my Dean Martin while I eat this yummy salad. Mm. Okay, so tonight I'm gonna make, ooh, the oven is ready. I'm gonna make a special little treat. It's um, stuffed mushrooms. And these aren't necessarily great for you or like healthy for you, but because of like the cheese and everything, but um, they're a nice little snack and they're so small that it's not a lot of calories, I don't think. I don't know, <laughs> girl, I don't know. Anyway, um, these are little baby Bellas. So they're portobello mushrooms, but they're small. What I'm gonna do, uh, what you do is just pop off the little, oh, this had to happen on camera, didn't it? It's easily like removable, this thing, but of course on camera. So we'll just set these aside. I'm gonna use panko breadcrumbs, which are right over here. Panko, we get those from Costco. We shop at Costco a lot. So I have them right here in a little bowl and I'm going to use goat cheese. And then I'm gonna use sun-dried tomatoes. And the ones that I love, they're absolutely yummy, are giadas. And you can find these at Target. These are the best, softest, most tasty sun-dried tomatoes I've ever tried. And I always get these, always. So I really highly recommend these. 
So um, I just cut up the tomatoes because they come in slices. And um, I'm just put that in there. And just use a fork to just mix it up. Make sure the clumps of the goat cheese are just well incorporated into the entire mixture. You can season it with a little bit of Italian seasoning. Um, since the panko breadcrumbs aren't seasoned, you can also use like Italian breadcrumbs that are already seasoned for you. I rubbed these um, mushrooms with a little bit of extra virgin olive oil um, so that they don't burn or get dry, I mean, pretty much. So I love to overstuff them. I just think things that are overstuffed, like your bra, are awesome. Just kidding, obviously. I'm just gonna put these into the oven, 350 degrees for like 20 minutes, until just like the top is nice and brown and the mushrooms are cooked and nice and juicy. So this is what they look like when they're cooked and just nice and golden brown and a little bit crunchier. Um, oh, they're so delicious. I can't wait to eat one.